Hello there, everyone, and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you are new, my name is Lisa, and today I'm spending quality time with my son, and we are going to make fairy gardens. So our first stop was to Dollar Tree. They had all the things that you need to make an awesome fairy garden. My son wanted to make his with Pokemon. He used a figure for that and got all the other supplies here at Dollar Tree as well. This is a great project to do with kids of any age. It could be grandkids, nieces, nephews, kids that you babysit. Like I said, we were able to find everything at Dollar Tree. You could also go on a scavenger hunt through the neighborhood or at your park. I think that would be fun and it would extend your quality time even more. But you could find pine cones, sticks, rocks. I know that when my boys were little, they could find treasures everywhere we went. And that would be awesome to include in your fairy gardens. Dollar Tree had these trays, and if you wanted to use this shallow tray instead of a pot, I think it would be great for a fairy garden. Also, you could use these figures instead of the fairies and gnomes and make a Toy Story theme, Barbie, Minions, um, Muppets. You can see that Disney, the possibilities, endless. You might even have Lego figures at home or build a fairy garden with the Legos. I'm telling you, let their imagination go wild. It could be hours of entertainment and I love looking outside my front window and seeing my fairy garden in my flower bed. Here's a tip, we used these disposable paper bowls upside down to fill volume up inside of our pots so we did not require as much potting soil. You can also get dirt. If you have extra dirt around your house, um, you can definitely use that, but we got these bags of potting soil when we were at Dollar Tree. Today's video was a little bit different with more of mom life. Um, I very much have a lot of that, but with older boys, uh, you don't see it quite like you would if I had toddlers. I normally make cleaning motivation, cooking, decorating, shopping, shopping hauls. So if this is the kind of content you enjoy and would like to see more of, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and ring your bell. I would love to have you here as part of my family and to come back and enjoy all the fun we get into. I am on Instagram at uniquely Lisa2. That's Lisa with an E and the number two. And I would love for you to come over there and follow me and be a part of my social media family. 
I post a lot of daily life and motivation, inspiration, other uh, content over there. So consider joining my Instagram family. enjoy our little DIY fairy gardens and you're inspired to do this with your kids or grandkids um, and if you do let me know in the comments below I want to hear about it This was such a fun project and my son and I had a really good time together. My husband enjoyed watching us have that time together. The days are long, but the years are short with your kids and as I approach an empty nest, it becomes more and more evident. So I'm so glad y'all were here with us today and I hope this inspires you to spend quality time with your kids on an easy but fun project like a fairy garden. As spring approaches here where we are, it is just so nice to see the renewal of everything in nature. And if the day is pretty enough, do this outside. It's a great way to get you a little vitamin D and sunshine as well. Again, don't forget to hit subscribe and ring your bell if you enjoyed this content. That way you never miss a future video. And that thumbs up button is just down below. Don't forget to click on that and leave me a comment. I hope that you have the most wonderful and blessed day. And I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.